This is another important rule about angles in circles, and uh, I want you to look first of all at this line here, uh, BD or DB, and notice that it is a chord to the circle, which means it just cuts across the circle, dividing the circle into two segments, a smaller one at the bottom, a minor segment, and a major one at the top. But you can think of the circle divided into two segments like that. Now I've drawn two more points, A and C, which connect to DB uh, by lines like that. And the rule is quite straightforward. It says that the angle at A and C, whatever you do, they're always equal. In this case, they're always 49. If you change the size of, uh, or the length of BD, then change the size of those two angles. But they're always the same as each other if they're drawn in the same segment as they are. Now, sometimes you can, uh, well, whatever, whatever the position is, uh, they're, they're going to be the same size, unless, of course, they're drawn in the other segment, where they're no longer equal, although there is a rule which tells you how big they are, or a uh, rule which connects them, but that's uh, a subject of another video. Now, if we look at it the other way up, instead of looking at the chord DB, let's look at the chord AC, uh, and see what happens there. Well, B and D are now points drawn from that chord, and they're always equal, like that. Now what happens if we make AC uh, divide the, the, the circle into two different segments, and we draw the two uh, points in the minor segment, the smaller segment? Well, they end up being la rather larger angles, but they're still equal to each other because they're drawn in the same segment. And that's the name of this rule. It is that angles in the same segment of a circle are equal.